Using your new ProScope Micro Mobile is as easy as using your iPhone or iPad. First of all, let's look at the ProScope Micro Mobile base unit. This is a 5-hour lithium-ion polymer battery. The power button is recessed so that it's not accidentally pocket-powered. Press in on the power button for a full second until the power light comes on and the LEDs come on. The power button is also a rocker switch to ramp the LED intensity up or down. The AB switch is used when you have the optional polarization filter mounted on the lens. Then the A position activates the LEDs under the polarization filter for a non-reflective view, while the B position activates the LEDs that are unfiltered for a reflective view. You can also have the power off and use a backlit source to view slides and translucent subjects and materials. You can also remove our ProScope Micro Mobile lens and just use the iOS camera lens with our ring of LEDs for direct illumination without magnification. This is great for many medical applications, entomology, coins, gems, and stamps. Our lens acts as a magnified relay for your mobile device lens, so the distance relation between the two is within just microns to produce a sharp image with perfect color reproduction. This exacting quality and magnification mean that the focal distance is directly at the end of the lens cone, so you would contact the lens cone to the subject that you want to view. This not only makes the focal distance precise, but it's also designed to steady your iOS device for the super sharp image your iOS camera can produce. We also provide a simple yet unique stand so that you can lay your ProScope Micro Mobile on a flat surface for a steady and sharp focus. However, the micro world around us is not flat, so we have a finite focus adjustment ring on the end of the lens cone. Your iOS camera has an autofocus. Just tap on the screen to autofocus and tap and hold on the screen for a couple of seconds to lock your autofocus auto exposure. Tap on the capture button on the screen to take an image or to make sure you don't jar the iOS device by tapping, use the plus sign on your iOS earphones to take the photo without touching the screen. If you've been using your ProScope Micro Mobile with the LEDs for at least five hours, then you'll see the power indicator change from green to yellow and then red. It's time to charge it up by using the included mini to USB charging cable. Just plug it into a USB port on your computer or plug the USB into a USB to AC adapter. The power indicator light will begin to pulse and when fully charged will remain solid green. Let us know if you have any questions. Just email support at bodolin.com or call 800-441-6877 Monday through Friday 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific. Thanks for watching.